First of all, thank you very much for this opportunity and for this already third conference about this turning challenges into opportunities. I prefer to talk about opportunities than challenges because Ukraine goes through so many challenges that we have to move the focus to opportunities. The opportunity is that there is a big public support for this European choice of Ukraine. I guess uh, there is now a mobilization of all Ukrainian forces in order to do it uh, in a way that uh, it corresponds with the needs of Ukraine. The European Union has also gone a long way in order to mobilize all structures. As you know, European Union is moving slowly, but uh, then it goes in a systematic way in supporting Ukraine. Every day we are now opening uh, certain projects uh, that are aiming in strengthening the Ukrainian institutional capacity to cope with uh, everything that means the association with the European Union. Yesterday uh, we opened a big project for the government uh, in order to help the government to adopt laws that are in or draft laws that are compliant with Ukrainian commitments under the association. But not only this was the main component of this contract. This contract contains also a very important communication component. This is one of weak points of Ukrainian outreach to the own population, this communication about the policy. The legitimacy of policy depends very much on how people in the country perceive and support and understand what Ukrainian government uh, intends to do and what is the objective of changes. Changes are never easy. Countries we will have here Minister Bild, who knows something about uh, what uh, reforms do mean from the political point of view, but these reforms will only be understood uh, if uh, the goal, objective of it is well shown, explained to uh, Ukrainian citizens, because citizens are the subject of all these changes. And this is something that we have to repeat every day that the difference between this post-Soviet approach to citizens and the European approach to citizens is that in the post-Soviet approach, this Mayakovsky formula about human being individual is zero. Only collective counts. And you know who decides about collective will. These are also individuals who decide about collective will impose about others. In the European approach, this is really concern of every individual to be put in the center of political beings. In order that this uh, very person, very citizen, supports the policy, you have to explain to the person what it's all about. This is a very important feature of uh, everything what we now uh, try to do with the government as well with the Ukrainian parliament in line to improve the reforms of explaining the way of reforms to Ukrainians. This will increase this Ukrainian ownership of reforms because what is the goal of it is the reform of Ukraine. And the European Union is obviously interested in having as a neighbor a country that is sovereign, sustainable and able to decide about its own future because of his own. For years, Ukraine policy has been driven by a kind of patchwork policy in to what other partners do wanted from Ukraine, what 
Russia wanted from Ukraine, what IMF wanted from Ukraine, what the European Union wanted from Ukraine, and all this multivectoral policy did not allow to create a strategy. So this association with the European Union is a way to shape a well-drafted strategy and to move away from short-term policy actions into long-term strategies implemented over time by different institutions. What is needed in order that it happens is to set structures, not to imitate political actions and obligations, including the fight against corruption, because it's something that people really do care about and will measure the result of Ukraine against how successful Ukraine is to eradicate monopolies, oligarchic schemes in running the policy and systemic corruption in the country. And from result in this field depends very much the level of internet assistance to Ukraine. Second, to set long-term economical development and for long-term democratic development of the society. These are the main challenges or opportunities in front of Ukraine, because implementation of all these political lines is a challenge, but it creates an opportunity for Ukraine to make out of Ukraine and well-functioning, stable, sovereign country. Thank you for this uh, uh, time given to me in the beginning. I have to uh, go and to open another EU project for Ukraine, EU for Business. Uh, the creation of uh, 15 local centers in Ukraine in order to support small and medium business uh, all over Ukraine in order to increase the capacity of Ukrainian business to cope with the challenge of open market, with the possibilities to install and rapid economical growth in Ukraine. Thank you very much.